हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड सीन बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वैल्यू स्ट्रीम मैपिंग सम ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट यूज्ड इन द वी एस एम सम इम्पॉर्टेंट सिम्बॉल्स फ्रिक्वेंटली यूज इन द वी एस एम एंड फाइनली स्टेप्स एंड टाइमलाइन गाइडलाइंस टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सरसाइज नाउ थैंक यू फॉर ऑल यूर वैल्यूएबल व्यूज लाइक्स एंड कॉमेंट्स स्पेशल थैंक्स टू फ्रेंड्स हु हैड शेयर माई वीडियो टू अदर फ्रेंड्स and subscribe my channel in this video we are going to see benefits of vsm and how to do this exercise practically some of the common mistakes which are done in vsm and how to avoid it so let's begin value stream mapping is one of the most powerful lean tools for an organization wanting to plan implement and improve on its lean journey This tool allows users to create a solid implementation plan that will make the most of their available resources. The value stream in VSM is the point at which value is actually added to the product or service by changing the market form or function to meet the customer needs. For example, value adding activities can be things like machining, assembly, welding, drilling and so on. If you are not adding value, you are probably adding one of the waste. pictorial representation of vsm are easy ways to learn a language that anyone in your, in your organization can understand a key element when communicating with process maps building a vsm offers detail that goes beyond the amount of information you can rely with the standard flow chart now we'll see what is a value stream scope understanding the scope of the value stream under examination is an important place to start a vsm task think of the scope as the door to door process for a facility level map a departmental or interdepartmental practice is considered a process process level map when multiple plants customers or suppliers are included an extended level map is created consider an extended level map as the view of value stream at 60000 feet the facility level map at 30000 feet and the process level map at 10000 feet it is best to start a diagramming a facility level map before attempting to draw a process level map or extended level map so you do not optimize one area and sub optimize another this column will focus on the facility level map now ready a team for the event the best way to create a vsm is to form a cross functional team that includes supervisory or managerial level members from throughout the organization representatives from departments like sales customer service scheduling purchasing operations inventory control maintenance quality and information technology can be a valuable contributors to this part of the vsm journey even customers or suppliers both external and internal are unique perspectives be aware of the actual size of this team and how it can affect the decision making and action a good team size is usually between 7 and 10 numbers this size makes it easier for members to conduct interviews and walk the floor that is actually visiting each of the work areas affected by the process evaluation and included in the vsm to see first hand how things work or don't work predictably the larger the team the more difficult it may be to manage if the team has fewer than 7 members there may not be enough voices to provide well rounded input finally never create a map with a team of one you will not get enough valuable input or cross functional dialogue or the results may be biased for one area person or department now we will move to the kaizen kickoff one of the team is formed a 3 day kaizen event is usually enough to create the current state and the future state maps along with the draft plan on these deliverables is highlighted more time may be needed to complete the detailed draft plan and determine the resources required to implement the lean ideas it is important to designate an individual with previous experience in vsm to facilitate the kaizen event at the kaizen event the team must complete four important steps to progress through vsm determine the process family draw the current state map determine and draw the future state map and finally draft a plan to arrive the future state 
Now, the one of the most important parameter is the process family. A process family also known as a product family. It is a group of products or services that go through the same or similar processing steps. To determine your process family, create a matrix similar to the example as shown in the figure. Along the top row, write all the process steps your organization performs from a 30,000 foot point of view. In the first column, the parts, for example, components, stock keeping units, finished goods, items or services, etc. your organization makes or provides. Place and cross in the corresponding bo box if the parts goes through the processing steps. Many cross-functional teams skip this step in the process. A team may decide this step seems unnecessary. The team may mistakenly believe it has already identified the value streams or it may consider this step too difficult or incomplete to perform. I must emphasize this point again, do not skip this step. Building a process family matrix can save you much time in the future and help avoid headaches down the line. Taking this step will help everyone understand the value stream and where they are in the process. For example, one company claimed it had a very simple process and the team elected not to perform this step. There were many process steps, the team didn't consider the steps not in the main flow, so these parts were not included in the original matrix. After a closer examination, the team had thought its company had only one process family, actually had nine families. After completing this vital step, examine the matrix and look for parts that go through the similar or exact same processing steps. Search for items or parts that share around 80% of the steps. Look for items or parts that would make sense if they were crafted alongside each other in a manufacturing cell. In other words, consider items or parts that share many of the same steps, procedures that can be created together by the same workers using similar or related steps more efficiently in the same manufacturing cell. At this point, the team must select the particular process family. It will be concentrated on the current state map. Every organization may have a different reason for selecting one process family over another when deciding which map to drop first or which order it should map out its value streams. Here are some criteria the VSM team may use to decide which process family to draw. It may be biggest bang of the buck, it may be largest reduction in the lead time, or it may be biggest impact to the customer, it may be highly probability of for the success, most visible to stakeholders, it may be new product line, or having a higher volume or higher quantity. Now, plotting the current state. The current state map should illustrate how your organization process performs in a today's work environment. To create a current state map, collect the data and information by walking the flow and interviewing the people who perform the task. There are two main reasons why walking the flow is more beneficial to creating the map than staying seated at your desk in front of the computer. The first one is the team will have the opportunity to see the entire process and look for the waste. And the second one is value adders, the people who actually perform the work, like operators, technicians, etc. can answer questions and clarify the misconceptions or preconceived notions on how tasks are performed. From walking the flow, the team can collect on a worksheet several types of information such as cycle time or processing time, change over time, reliability of the equipment, first pass yield, quantities, number of operators and ships, hard copy information, electronic information, inventory levels, queue or waiting times. There is a rule of thumb to help the team. If the information is in the ballpark, then it can be used to get started. For example, if an operator says his machine breakdowns about 4 hours every week, the team can mark down 90% for reliability of the equipment. If it is discovered later the actual reliability was 91%, that difference wouldn't have that much of an impact. 90% was bad enough for the team to know some changes were necessary. You do not have to wait for perfect data, but wrong or disinformation need to be clarified. If you are in doubt about any of the data, then consider measuring it to verify. Now one of the most important parameter in a, pen, in a VSM is a pencil and paper. 
with the information gathered from walking the floor and ensuring team discussions it's now time to sharpen the pencil and put the lead to the paper any vsm can be drawn using simple symbols or icon we had seen some of the icons and its meaning in previous slides once the information had been collected i recommended drawing the map on 11 by 17, 17 paper it's a landscape paper using pencil and probably with a large eraser key areas on the map are the upper right corner for the customer information the upper left corner for the supplier information the top of half of the paper for the information flow and bottom half of the paper is for the material flow the cutters on the top and the bottom to calculate the value added and non value added time calculate the cycle time versus the inventory time for the material as well as the information flow every vsm will look slightly different depending on the exact process and the author who drew the map and how it was drawn if this is one of the your first vsm kaizens have the experience facilitator draw the map on a large dry erase board and the team members draw each of their own maps on paper if your team members are not experienced they may gather the data first and then draw the map if they are experts they may just draw the map as they gather the data the current state map is usually completed by the second day but it needs to be refined a little the next morning remember when drawing your maps your eraser your best friend now future state map once the current state map is completed the team can send it set its sights on creating the future state map make sure the team members have some basic training on the lean principle so develop a realistic future state map different authors will suggest questions to guide you a future state be careful to use the questions appropriate to your type of business here is a short list of questions which common elements that may fit most type of business first one is what is a tag time tag time is a time refers to how frequently a part or component must be produced to meet the customer demand the formula is the time available divided by the demand as we see in the previous slides the next is the, are there bottlenecks or constraints from the data collection during the kaizen look at the cycle times or processing times if any of these are greater than your tag time you have a candidate for a bottleneck or constraint this may be causing over production waste or working process in some areas or extra processing time such as over time to meet the demand now the next question is where can inventory be reduced or supermarkets used look at the raw material working process buffer stock safety stock and finished good inventories to see whether these can be reduced a supermarket is a control inventory system the downstream process removes items from the shelf and the process on our upstream replenishes that amount to be supermarket the key is to find ways to reduce inventory in a logical manner also look for opportunities for paperwork to flow and not sit around like in batching now the next question is where can you improve flow is it possible to put materials into a sale or eliminate materials from stopping and waiting if flow improvement isn't possible could a first in and first out be established between processes the next question is what other improvements are required for instance does the reliability of the equipment need to be improved are the first pass sealed or quality levels acceptable do we need to perform training on 5as do we need to create a new layout for an area on the map place a kaizen burst around any items to signal improvements is needed items may include low equipment reliability or first pass sealed long change over times large batches any kind of waste such as over production motion transportation waiting defects and over processing if you are not sure whether there need to be an improvement during this time frame put a kaizen burst around it anyway you can determine if it will be a priority when you put together your plan from the answers to these and other questions related to the process you will be able to draw a future state map that reflects how you want your operations to be based in a 6 or 12 months estimate the amount of inventory and queue times based on the improvements that are achievable recalculate the value added versus non value added time on the short tooth line now the final step is a draft plan creating the draft plan is the most important part of the vsm 
creating a map can be a enlightening experience but if you do not execute the plan you have just created one more waste during a typical vsm event it is possible to create the draft plan based on the information from the future state map the plan will need further refinement especially in determining resources required such as time people and budgets a good plan will include the description of the project name of the project leader possible team members a schedule of events an estimate of cost and impact goals or benefits vsm can be an effective tool to build improvements and efficiencies for any organization for completing this part of the lean journey the payoffs can be immense for any organization vsm requires a dedicated team ready to ask difficult questions and think beyond the current state and a team not afraid to admit error and use that eraser a few times along the way please press the like button if you have liked this video add your valuable comments share this video to your friends who need it and subscribe my channel to get the notifications of new video i have added go to the youtube settings notifications learn and apply and click on the bell icon and finally thank you for watching